Black holes have always been these enormous, enigmatic objects floating in space, something about which we have always had questions, but no solutions has finally altered. Join us in this video as we update you on what researchers have just discovered inside a black hole. This one is sure to get weird, so stick around. First Black Hole General Theory of Relativity by Albert Einstein published in 1916, was the catalyst for everything. Despite the fact that the term black hole didn't become official until almost 50 years later, he was the first to foresee their existence. Until Cygna X1 was discovered in the late 1960s, some scientists accepted Einstein's theory, while others did not. The scientists discovered an unusually brilliant blue star that was generating X-rays, and wasn't a stationary star, while observing the Cygnus constellation, it was circling something enormous and dark. Further investigation revealed that the X-rays weren't only traveling about randomly, they were being drawn within the dark object. Whatever the monster was, it was powerful and eating everything in its path as they orbited. At that point, black holes were shown to be real by science, but they had no idea that things would soon become more weirder. The one finding made by Cygnus X team led to several more, a certain number. However, it appears to be in the several million which makes them much more crucial to examine. Most physicists agree that a black hole is an object into which everything falling falls astronomically until it becomes a single. But even so, that's one of the most unsettling aspects of the study of black holes, and it's also what gets everyone curious in the specifics. The debate of whether black holes may engulf the entire world still remains, despite the fact that the nearest one to Earth is 1,500 light years distant. The first crystal clear image of the black hole M87 was made public in 2021. With each successive night that the black hole was observed, the researchers obtained more and more information about it, and as a result, they were able to determine that a black hole had three layers. There isn't simply one huge void in the ground. You have to pass the first two tiers in order to even reach the emptiness. Let's unravel it. The outer and inner event horizons come first, followed by the singularity. Every black hole's mouth is surrounded by a wall. They have given the out event horizon that name. If anything enters the black hole at this stage, it won't be able to escape. On its route to the singular, it will either remain there or be pushed farther into the inner layer. This is due to the fact that gravity is strong and continuous across the event horizons. Therefore, once anything enters, it can't actually exit. Something would need to move far more quickly than the speed of light in order to escape from there. Anything that has been impossible up until now. The gravity on Earth may be something we take for granted. But if it were any different, we couldn't survive the way we do. The major, huge, awful, and singularity black holes are located after the event horizon. The singularity is the point when everything is squeezed down to a single particle becoming basically nothing, even if the entire black hole is to be avoided. This is where most of the universe's mass lies. The way physics works on Earth and in the majority of the space we have explored is different inside black holes. It is entirely distinct. If there is no rule supply, anarchy reigns. The fact that every black hole is unique makes the situation worse. You could be able to learn everything there is to know about one black hole since it might have a completely different gravitational pull than the other. When you begin looking into another, you must then start over. The blip. The issue now is that black holes are difficult for scientists to investigate in the same way that stars or other planets are. By observing the radiation, they examine them. The gas and particles that surround black holes also emit. We've previously demonstrated that objects like the Voyager would just become imprisoned in the event horizons and vanish into oblivion, so you can't actually put them inside a black hole either. We are essentially left with no choice but to investigate these very potent, 
three-dimensional occurrences in space, you can only obtain as close to a 2D image of a black hole when you are somewhat near to it before your camera merges with the black hole. Thus, there are very few alternatives available, but that also brings up the notions of physics collapsing and how every black hole is unique. The problem is that, as we've established, it's virtually impossible for humans to go faster than the speed of light, so we haven't been able to go inside the singularity itself to actually find out what it is. However, this does not imply that the researchers who have been looking into these enormous bodies of mystery are without hypotheses of their own. There are several ideas regarding black people. Let's go over some of the most logical hypotheses on what experts believe to be within the black hole. The main hypothesis, aside from the singularity, is that the film Interstellar may have been onto something. In spite of their appearance, black holes may really contain gas beyond their event horizons and the beginning of the singularity. Of course, we're not talking about your standard front gate. We're discussing intergalactic and interuniversal travel. If we can develop technology that can move faster than the speed of light, we might be able to prove that black holes are a fault in the matrix. It's possible that the singularity isn't simply the emptiness that we now understand, but rather a wormhole to another galaxy beyond a shortcut to interstellar travel that we had never even considered was feasible, and that isn't quite as unthinkable as it originally seemed. It could well be true. If true, it implies that our knowledge of the solar system's planets is not our only option. We may even consider devising strategies for entering the galaxies that these black holes govern after passing through these black holes. On the other opposite end of the spectrum from these hypotheses is the one that completely denies their very existence. Well, sort of. Tokyo-based physicist Enrico Rinaldi has been working with his team to understand and black holes despite how absurd they may seem. Well, he's come up with a simple hypothesis that simply explains all the chaos. They are only holograms, he claims. Holograms as we currently understand them are holographic pictures produced by technology. However, not all holograms are made equally. Any visual anomaly, such as a mirage, can also be a hologram. And when we refer to the abyss, we are referring to space. Everything is conceivable. Let's spend a moment delving Delving into the particulars here, so Rinaldi and his colleagues started by making comparisons to some of the most popular hypotheses regarding black holes and physics, but soon came to the conclusion that they were all just too dissimilar to be true of either. He made the decision to use quantum matrix models to try to figure everything out. It is his area of expertise. So even though the topic at hand is essentially something nobody knows anything about, he was completely certain utilizing the techniques he was using. As a result, he has developed the holographic duality theory by combining the theories of gravity and particles. A variety of experiments were conducted by Randy and his colleagues. They've concluded that in order to understand what's happening within a black hole, a location that no one can physically enter, they need to grasp how it works. The entire situation must be handled as a hologram. Project the black hole pictures we currently have in three dimensions. They claim that black holes have always been in the third dimension, and that understanding them requires looking at the exterior rather than the inside. In the video that will play again, do you recall the dust and gases we discussed earlier? Outside of the black hole, space and time are traveling in the opposite direction. It seems complicated, but to put it simply, the black hole affects not just what happens inside the singularity or wormhole but also the space that it occupies. The entire environment that it surrounds is considered. Everything works together to power this enormous evil and give it its characteristics. We should consider the potential of a moving black hole, which is like a ring that is just eating things whole and increasing more and more powerful as it goes, rather than being centered on a single spot where all matter collapses. That may also mean that the possibility of one of the moving near planets like the Earth to swallow it whole isn't really that far-fetched. 
Because of the recent developments in the studies about black holes, scientists are now closer than ever before to fully understanding. While we now know that deep inside black holes is the singularity where nothing may survive, chances are more research into them might literally open up brand new worlds, or should we say galaxies, that we've never even expected. But to get more details on it, we'll just have to wait a little longer. And on that note, we'll wrap up today's video. What do you think? is inside black holes. Do you agree with the scientists or are you working on your own theories? Let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you guys next time.